Welcome, welcome, welcome to Intergenerational Jazz Power Jam. We're so glad you could join us. Our first show of the season, 2021. This is produced by the Jazz Power Initiative, the Uptown New York City-based nonprofit organization bringing transformational experiences to students and audiences uptown and beyond. Intergenerational Jazz Power Jam is our monthly gathering and uh, we enjoy a performance with a featured artist and invite our community to jam. Today, we're joined by Noel Scott, and he's a current member of the Sun Ra Orchestra, the world famous Sun Ra Orchestra out of Philadelphia. He's been playing with the orchestra for 30 plus years, and uh, we're so happy uh, that he was able to come join us today up from Philadelphia to our headquarters here in Upper Manhattan. Noel is originally from Jamaica, Queens, and later relocated to Harlem, where he became known as King Tut of Harlem. And we're so glad to have you here, Noel. Welcome, 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 welcome. All right. Good to be here, man. <laughs> Space <laughs> greetings, celestial blessings to all. All right, all right. So now um, we're going to get into uh, some of the music from your new album. This is. Um, a new album out by the Sun Ra Orchestra. I think it's the first one that you put out in about 12 years. Is that right? Well, actually, it's the first studio recording um, in, the, in over 20 years since Song for the Sun. It's, it's our first successful studio recording. And uh, we're very kind of, we're kind of happy with it. And it's been a great response. It's hit uh, the top 10 charts. Uh, and uh, we're hoping for, uh, you know, that, that G, that G word. <laughs> now it's called Swirling. Yes, the album's called Swirling. By and, the uh, Orchestra. and it features you and Marshall Allen and... Oh, a whole bunch of cats. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, Tyler Mitchell, uh, Cecil Brooks. Uh, Beautiful. Uh, Tara Milton on vocals, Fareed Barron on piano, uh, Wayne uh, Anthony Smith on drums. Uh, did, uh, did I say Tara Milton? Uh, Tara Milton on vocals. Uh, oh, Vincent, uh, New York's darling, Vincent Chancy on, on French horn. And, and of course, the I inimitable uh, Michael Ray on the trumpet. Fantastic. Now, you guys recorded this before the pandemic? or once? Yes, it was actually recorded in 2018. 2018 and they okay. asked us, why did you wait to come out with it now? Well, um, you know, you have to wait till the stars and uh, the conditions of the planet and the celestial bodies align themselves in a manner which coincide with uh, the music and the vibrations thereof. And we feel that during this COVID and pandemic time, the vibrations that, uh, that this uh, recording conjures up are the, are the healing vibrations that the planet needs right now. So the, so the release time is most apropos. All right, all right. Let's say that again, say that again, what you just said. I wanna make sure oh, everybody okay. hears um, that. Why did you put it out now? Well, like I said, the planets uh, had to align themselves uh, properly uh, for the vibrations that this music conjures. 
And in this pandemic time, uh, the world needs something to take their minds and their spirits, to uplift their spirits and their hearts and give them hope. And um, that uh, the energy that uh, are that are conjured uh, by this recording, we hope will uh, give some relief to the stress and strain of dealing with this pandemic. So we feel that the timing is really perfect for the release of the album. Beautiful, beautiful. And one of the songs that you introduced me to is called Space Loneliness, you know, and that might be apropos since a lot of people are locked up in their houses, right? They might be experiencing some loneliness. So can you tell us about this song? Yeah, well, Space Loneliness, really, I really relate to that because uh, uh, my heart is 3,000 miles away. Mm. Um, and uh, us, uh, it, that's, that's, this goes back to Sun Ra days and some uh, we recorded this different versions and we have recorded this different versions of space loneliness you know so we, like as you say uh yeah it's about uh, you know um loneliness is just is part of being uh innovative in anything you know there's not there's they say there's a lot plenty of room at the top it's very lonely on the top uh and so uh when you have a perspective uh you know somebody else's idea of somebody else's world is not my idea of things as they are well we find that when your idea is not the uh as the ideas of the society is that is pulled that you find yourself in a lonely place so um, um that's why at the raw house we mi we don't mind being sequestered uh uh because we you know we're we're not really trying to be about the, the things of this planet you know with some of us marshalling around you know I try not to be, but I get, I get pulled in sometimes. <laughs> you always do that earth thing. Like that chocolate cake. Like that chocolate cake. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Chocolate cake From is... From Chalk, New York City. Yeah, right but down chocolate, the street. That chocolate cake <laughs> is celestial. Believe me. Chocolate is the nectar of the gods. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. So we just try to keep the vibrations going on in space loneliness. You know, um, it's, it's, you know, that, that's, that's not, sometimes you feel that way. All right, let's do it. Space loneliness on intergenerational jazz power jam. All right. Uh.
Some space loneliness. Space loneliness. All right. Jazz Power Jam. Space loneliness is not seeing your baby for a year. You know? Not being able to be with your baby for a year. That's some real space loneliness yeah, right there. Yes, indeed. Yeah. And there's a lot of people experiencing that. Mm -hmm. Separated from loved ones, right? Man, that's a trash. That's when we need the music, you know, to help us, help us get through. So... Hopefully that spoke to you and helped you. And that's from the new album from the Sun Ra Orchestra, Space Loneliness, with Noel Scott, our guest on the saxophone. Now, Noel, you grew up in Jamaica, Queens. I know that was right. a very rich music environment. A lot of great jazz musicians man, lived so in that area, so right? So many cats, man. Marcus yeah. Miller, Najee, Jerome Clarkson. Um, uh -huh. Uh, uh, Siraj, Tony Henson, uh -huh. from Tito Puente's band, uh -huh. uh, Weldon Irvin, um, Baby Sweets, I got your picture over here, Baby Sweets Baby was at the, Sweets, village, was at the village door. Woo! He was him, Hank Edmonds, and Roy Buchanan on bass, 
held down the village door for must, must have been 20, 25 years. Uh, seven, and, and they had jazz there seven nights a week at the village door, wow. uh, 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 right across from, from, from uh, 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 Bailey Park. And so that's us young cats, that's where we cut our teeth, you know, between the village door and the practice rooms at Queens College. All of us down there, the, 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 the Jeff King, uh, um, um, Alvin Flight, uh, what we were called him, Winky, Winky. Uh, Tom Brown, Nod. I remember Nod, talking about Nod, um, uh, Bernard um, Wright. Man, Bernard, man, he was 12 years old. Mm. He came in the village door, they would put three telephone books on the piano bench, three of them, ah. for him to sit on the, for him to sit up there to reach the keys. And then he sat down at 12 years old and sound like Bud Powell. That was Nard, Nard Wright, Bernard Wright. Right yeah, right. so, you know, but there was nobody. There was no Barry Gordy. There was no Gamble and Huff. So all that talent, Marcus, Marcus Miller. Marcus Miller was in the best band in, in, in the funk band in Queens before he, before he went to, to Miles Davis. He was the Fireboats, wow. you know? Uh, and then the, the guitar player from the Fireboats who went with was uh, Howie Grady. He ended up uh, being a musical director for Arms to Short the Box of God on Broadway. There you go. You know, there was just. And a, I remember, a, I remember a, Weldon Irvine used to come in the Skylark. Mm -hmm. Sitting with Walter Perkins band. I talk about the Skylark. And while, yeah. I was at the, I was at the Skylark when Cecil because because I, I, you see I'm playing baritone. Yeah. Cecil painted seven days at the spot at this. I'm I'm like 14, maybe 15 years old. Wow. And Cecil Payne came to the Skylark and did 15 did seven days. Wow. And I'm there every night. By the third night, he came over to me. Now I'm just scared to talk. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> So I said, so, so um, Mr. Payne, uh, what kind of music do you play? And he thought about it for a minute. I guess, I guess you could say I play bebop. All right. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I, I guess, yeah. I guess you could say. <laughs> I, I guess you could say I play bebop. Well, yeah, so, man, this so a great Payne. Cecil Payne. You know, so there was, and the, 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 there was an alto player there who played ballads like Johnny Hodges. C.I. Williams. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you just see. I remember yeah, seeing. He played Williams. ballads like Johnny Hodges yep, and, yep. And, and up tumble tunes like Charlie Parker. Yeah, yeah. He yep. was a he. Oh, he played he was, with Ruth Brown's band. Yeah, Ruth Brown's band. But Brown's he used right. to come in there and he played Laura. He said, We do Oh my God. Yo, he was an incredible yes. outdoor player, man. So yeah. many cats. So many. So man. you come from a rich, rich community. Yes, very much. And so. Uh, very much. we're so happy that you, you know, you've, you've reconnected with us. Of course, we met many years ago and you told me this great story that Sun Ra had come into a rehearsal and said, I just got a message from Saturn. We're not playing enough blues. And, yes. and I thought about that for about 10 years, Noel. I mean, this was 30 years ago that you told me that story. It took me about 10 years, and then we wrote this whole story. We created a musical, a message from Saturn, where these three kids from Queens, Mary, Lou, and William, <laughs> Get a message from Saturn. These, these, these asteroids come and they say, we have a message from Saturn. You're not playing enough blues. And the kids say, well, what do you mean we're not playing enough blues? We, we're just three kids from Queens. We, we don't even know what the blues is. So they go on this space journey mm -hmm. to learn about the power of the blues to heal. And uh, so I got to thank you so much for, for telling me that story and sending me on that journey. And now we've reconnected and you're playing here with us at Jazz Power at the Intergenerational Jazz Power Jam. We want to thank you for joining us, and uh, we're going to play another song now written by Noel Scott, and this takes us into the, the land of outer space again. It's called Celestial. You want to say anything about this composition? Yes. Um, I wrote this uh, uh, during the time we were preparing for the millennium, I think around 212, and um, 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 uh, Marshall got, uh, was... Uh, bequeathed uh, uh, Sun Ra Dream Orchestra with strings. So we're doing all these arrangements with strings. So I said, well, let me throw something on in there. So I put this thing together, and um, the, the incredible uh, Art Jenkins, vocalist and lyricist, put the words to this. And it was, it was written, originally written for orchestra with strings, and t but it has never been performed, um, entitled Celestial. Hope you enjoy
from some far place It captured me Objects out in space Circled the earth with rays of light It appeared to us once before In a time when the world was young as it was before to show its face secret of time from the unknown where the Need a change for the better so that this world can be celestial. Secret of time from the unknown where the others who will come back because they know we need a change for the better so that this world can be. Celestia Being is The way To victory Wisdom of The eye Is to be Angels Embrace Dark souls In space Wow, that really took me someplace, man. That really, I was floating out there in the stars with you. Uh, took me someplace. I massacred my own melody. <laughs> <laughs> hey, be like, wait, the hardest tune to play is your own tune. So <laughs> excuse me. And carrying, carrying that flute on the bus doesn't help, but, um, you know, but that was beautiful. No, it was beautiful. <laughs> that was beautiful. And uh, we're so happy that you joined us at the Jazz Power, Intergenerational Jazz Power Jam. And I'm Eli Yeaman, and I'm the uh, Managing Artistic Director of Jazz Power Initiative. We're an uptown, uptown based nonprofit organization. We're in Upper Manhattan, and we're very happy to be today at our new studio space here, where we're going to be doing a lot of streaming and, and a lot of sharing and teaching. And we invite you to join us on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram, and also on our website, jazzpower.org where you can join our mailing list. Well, next we're going to um, go into a song that, uh, well, I guess Coleman Hawkins performed this with Fletcher Henderson. Well, actually, he wrote it and arranged it for the Fletcher Henderson Orchestra. Uh-huh. 
So Coleman Hawkins, uh, some of you younger folks may not know, is known as the father of the tenor saxophone, okay? So he's the first major, major voice on the tenor saxophone, and he had a big hit in 1939 on the song Body and Soul. And Thelonious Monk called that the biggest miracle in modern music because that was a pop hit, and Coleman Hawkins didn't even play the melody. Yeah. He just told it, took this extraordinary solo that became a study for all, uh, all of us jazz musicians. But before Coleman Hawkins did that in 39, he played with the world famous Fletcher Henderson Orchestra, which was one of the most important big bands um, from the 20s the forward. And Fletcher is the one who taught everybody how to write. He wrote arrangements for all these different For all bands. that matter, Fletcher Henderson really created the big band. Mm -hmm. The big band, we talk about big bands, it starts with Fletcher. Mm -hmm. He was the man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Was now, the man. Sun Ra, who you worked with for many years, yes. had also had done some work with Fletcher Henderson, yes, right? Yes, well, Fletch, uh, Sun Ra was the only other pianist Fletcher would use besides his brother. Wow. And wow. Uh, Sun Ra uh, 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 wrote arrangements and rehearsed the Fletcher Henderson Orchestra for uh, Fletcher at the, at the Club De Lisa in Brooklyn, from in, in uh, Chicago, excuse me, Club De Lisa in Brooklyn. Um, what's Brooklyn on my mind, uh, in Chicago mm -hmm. from 1946 to 1947. Mm -hmm. And and Fletch Henderson was Sun Ra's mentor. Wow, wow. And, some, and sometimes you listen to Sonny playing and he sounds exactly like Fletch Henderson wow. on piano. Wow. He could, yeah, yeah he, he, he could duplicate Fletch Henderson's, but he could um, inculcate Fletch's or, or call Fletch's spirit into his music. Wow. And now you played this song, Queer Notions, with the Sun Ra Orchestra. Yes. So, so this is, our, this is our, our, little, our little rearrangement, because <laughs> it's really a big band tune. Okay. But, but, but you know, me and you are going to do it. We're going to do it our way. All right. Thank you. 
That was interesting. <laughs> and it was together. We, played, we <laughs> sure played it together. Yeah, okay. because you're hearing all these different big band things that are happening, which we can't do in a duo, but you yeah. do what you could do in a yeah. duo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's such a pleasure playing with you, uh, Noel, and I, I'm sorry we have only time for one more song, mm. but it's a, it's a fun one called Unmask the Batman. Yes. But yeah. before we play it, I just want to thank you so much for coming all the way from Philadelphia to join us today, and it's, uh, it's just a, a pleasure, and I, I hope we can do a lot more together. I hope so also, because you know, you, you, music is my life, and, and I appreciate the opportunity to play this horn, because I was going stir crazy. You know? <laughs> yeah, you know? as so many because, of us are, right? Because yeah. this horn is too big to practice. I'm going to practice about 15 minutes. I'm like wore out. So, 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 so the only one time I, got, I, I dig in is really, you know, is when, when, I, when, when, I'm work, when I'm playing a gig, you know, so it gives, gives me a chance to play a little bit. And, you know, get the cobwebs, get the cobwebs off the horn. So thank We're you. We're so glad you did. All it's right. My pleasure. All right. <laughs> Batman came. You've been 
digging and hiding and slipping and sliding in the bad man cave. I'm going to unmask the bad man. I'm going to unmask the bad man. Scott in the house, y'all. International Jazz Power Jam. Well, up next, we're going to be featuring our very own Za Jazz Power Youth. This is the advanced group. Uh, these are folks from uh, high school, college, and beyond who've been studying with Jazz Power for a while in our youth program and are now our uh, outstanding performance group. We're so excited about them. They're going to be singing solo jazz standards and some blues. And um, if you know someone or if you would like to take part in our jam next month in this second part, that's when we invite the community to jam with us, uh, then we'd like you to, um, at the next, the next one's going to be February 14th, we invite you to make a video, okay? So we're exploring, you know, new ways that you can participate with us in this COVID era. And uh, we've got a form for you to fill out that's provided in the description um, of this video uh, stream. And we hope to be seeing your video soon. We hope you'll send in a video like five minutes or less of a jazz or blues song or dance or poem even. And uh, you'll send it in and we'll get you into our jam next month, which is uh, February 14th on Valentine's Day. Uh, right now, I'd like to uh, invite Jonathan Hernandez from Za Jazz Power Youth. And Jonathan has the unique distinction of also being our audio producer for this live stream, but we're going to ask him to sing a song for us, and maybe you could introduce it too. Thanks, Eli. Um, I'll be doing Like Someone in Love by Jimmy Van Heusen and John Burke. <laughs> find myself out gazing at stars hearing guitars like someone in love sometimes the things I do is down me mostly whenever you're I seem to walk as though I have wings Bump into things like someone in love Each time I look at you I'm limp as a glove And feeling like someone love 
Sometimes the things I do is down me Mostly whenever you're around me Lately I seem to walk as though I have wings Bump into things like someone in love Each time I look at you I'm limp as a glove And feeling like someone Yes, I'm feeling like someone Yeah, I'm feeling like someone I Fall in Love Too Easily by Jewel Stein.
But still I fall in love too easily I fall in love too fast I fall in love too Wasn't that beautiful from Kimberly to Yengua, one of the members of Za Jazz Power Youth, uh, following a wonderful performance of Like Someone in Love by Jonathan Hernandez, who is also our production assistant and our audio producer for this live stream. It's Intergenerational Jazz Power Jam from Jazz Power Initiative, an uptown-based nonprofit organization dedicated to transforming lives through jazz arts education and performance, welcome. We're in the middle of our jam part uh, of our program, and next up is Angie Pastor singing from her home in Washington Heights. Angie started with us when she was in eighth grade uh, and then made her way through high school commuting into New York from uh, Long Island, uh, but she is now a junior at City College and a jazz vocal major, and we're so happy to have her uh, come in for this performance now. Take it away, Angie. Hi, I'm Oliver Glenn. And I'm Angie Pastor. We're about to perform the song Skylark, which was written by the song composer Hoagie Carmichael. He was a prominent songwriter in the Tin Pan Alley era, who was known for writing beautiful songs such as George On My Mind and The Nearness of You and Skylark. Johnny Mercer is the one who wrote the lyrics, and to him this song was about a longing for his love Judy Garland, but the reason why I chose this song is because it gives a sense of hopefulness and it asks for guidance throughout hard times. And so we're going to perform it now.
My name is Therese Francois and I will be singing Fly Me to the Moon. About a night in June Or that shit 
shady lane beneath the velvet moon. Don't tell me, 'cause I wanna talk about you. Crickets softly calls. Don't tell me, 'cause I wanna talk about you. The moon and the stars, the objects on Mars. Are things that we talked of before, but your love for me was the question. Your answer throws back heaven's doors. So tell me. Your love will be sincere, then, my darling. You needn't have a fear, 'cause I love you, and I wanna talk about you. Elon Yaman.
Marquise Neal on intergenerational jazz power jam, and he's really getting the spirit of Billy Eckstein, don't you think? But his own unique sound, and that's Marquise who came to us when he was just uh, 13. He had just been doing Kinky Boots on Broadway, and then he started working with us at Jazz Power, and it's just been amazing to watch his development. He's now a junior at um, AMDA, American Music Dramatic Arts Academy, and uh, so excited that Marquise is power, part of Za Jazz Power Youth. Uh, we also heard from uh, Therese Francois in that set, wonderful, wonderful young artist who's now a sophomore at LaGuardia High School for the Performing Arts in New York City, and so happy to hear her swinging rendition of Fly Me to the Moon. Well, we want to thank all the supporters of Intergenerational Jazz Power Jams, that's the Upper Manhattan Empowerment Zone, the Lower Manhattan Cultural Council, the Hispanic Federation, the Miranda Family Fund, the New York State Council on the Arts and Governor Andrew Cuomo, and the New York City Department of Cultural Affairs, Mayor Bill de Blasio, and individual supporters like you. We cannot do this without you, and we are so grateful for your support. If you want to know more about Jazz Power Initiative and all our programming for youth and everybody else, including our, our uh, Jazz Power Institute in the summer for artists and educators, please visit our website at jazzpower.org and join us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and the whole nine. I'm Eli Yaman, Managing Artistic Director. So glad to be with you today and hope you'll join us next month on February 14th for Intergenerational Jazz Power Jam. Here's one more performed by Za Jazz Power Youth. And it's dear to me because I used to sing this with my teacher, Barry Harris, who's still going strong in 91 and teaching up a storm. This is for you, Barry. This is Bird Feathers. One, two, one, two, I'm 
Everybody knew all of the time This urge to be a wonderful joy I couldn't describe Made me feel oh so good inside There's nothing that can stop the thrill of love When it all comes true And you find a special someone for you Yes, yes, yes Love is such a beautiful thing Yes, you know when it hits Thank you. 